so um, sold the today second of January I sold my Audi wagon on 31st which is Friday and I just picked up the next project slash flip um, was browsing marketplace this morning saw it chatted to the guy went straight through and picked it up um, so I'll show you guys a, a video of it now I'll do a walk around with it just now um, but it's 2005 Polo Ti 1.9 or oh, 1.9 Ti the 6 speed 96 kilowatt um, the 9N version it does need work I mean you can see how beautifully clean the, the roof lining is I mean, it just looks wonderful um, 240,000 k's on the clock it's got a big front mount intercooler on it straight pipe um, but I will show you guys it does need help I did pick it up for steel but again it, it needs a bit of love so um, yeah let me let me show you guys around the truck very first thing it needs to come off and these flipping mud flaps anyone that knows me knows how much I despise these things so let me quickly take them off so it's actually a couple of days later so I've done a couple of things to the car so far but I haven't done a walk around yet so let me quickly go through the car with you guys so you can have a look what what was done what needs to be done so as you can see nice big front mount intercooler fitted but because of that whoever did this decided to fit a aftermarket bumper or pirate bumper obviously to cut there to make them um, make the boost pipes fit but never spray them the headlights on dire need of some attention bonnet also not not great but I mean you can't really see because it's because it's white obviously but there's no not much clear coat they did some form of well not some form they uh, thought they were gonna do race car things and um, just remove the other wiper blade just so you got one wiper blade but at least I've got the other one it's in the car so that I just need to fit fender also not too great plus is obviously it's got nice original evolos on good tires got these crap indicator led indicators on so i've got other ones on order um this is the bed the worst part you can see that's quite a bad bed um there's a bit of a dent going down here I think before the previous guy bought the car, it was in a bit of a bump, and that's obviously when they did all the body, body filler, but he then bumped the car, and then obviously everything cracked. So, um, yeah, not great. Um, I had to fit a new fuel cap this morning. Other one was completely busted. Do I need to get this fixed? This is horrible. Anyway, um, bumpers obviously misaligned because of that. All the suit things. Oh, yeah. This I fitted the wipe arm yesterday. I was missing. I need to replace this cover inside because it's missing. You just grab the keys. So yesterday, I showed you guys I fitted the boot shocks. Okay, so we've got some parts now from Goldwachen to replace a few things as you can see there's no boot shocks here whatsoever i mean this one is literally just broken off by the looks of it and this boot is flipping heavy so i'm gonna quickly put the new ones on and then um, i'll show you guys afterwards things are quite strange in this car literally just fin fit finish fitting the boot shocks and now No, it looks like it's catching back in there, but I have no idea. What I have noticed is the alignment on here is completely out, but also it looks like there's extra spaces in that bracket where on this one it doesn't have. 
So what I've done is I'm gonna loosen, I've loosened here the nut is inside there. I'm gonna loosen that nut, lift it up and see. Because I mean see the amount of thread there's supposed to be. And that's how much there is. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take these spaces out. I don't know why they're there, they shouldn't be there. It's just very strange that when I fit at the boot shocks, all of a sudden the boot doesn't close. And you can see there's a little bit of suit that gets into the boot here. This thing is absolutely filthy. I mean, suit for days. Well, I'm gonna try and remove that and uh, hopefully that works. Um, but I had to remove them because I've never in my life had it where I fitted boot shocks and then the boot didn't close. So once, as soon as I fitted the boot shocks, this part over there started catching over there. No idea. I, 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 I don't even have, I mean, it took me about an hour to sort all these things out. I loosened the brackets. I'll adjusted everything just nothing nothing works and everything is so full of suit i mean that's all it's there's dust and suit everywhere under the cover here where i loosened it it's completely black from suit um i also found found out that the actual actual trigger on here doesn't really work because there's just a plug that's broken i need to try and find the plug and plug it back into here and hopefully then it'll work obviously these knobs are broken off for the backboard there's no spare wheel i mean it looks great in there anyway uh, okay so it's straight popped all the way through it looks quite good sounds amazing this side isn't too bad, besides it being dirty, I mean, no, there isn't, it's almost like there's not much clear coat on here, because, I mean, this is just the dirt from my hands yesterday and it's not coming off, just by me wiping it, so, mud flaps are the first things I deleted, um, yeah, again, indicator there, inside, not too bad, Got a Sony DVD screen there. Typical, this thing is broken. The other part that's sitting behind here, the and that's stuffed. This thing, this cover that goes around the, or the trim that goes around the aircon unit is broken. Leather seats aren't bad. It's just that one that's torn there. And then the best part is this roof lining. They were supposed to be grey-ish, which is is horrible anyway so my guy's on the way he's gonna come and redo the roof lining for me now i'm doing it in black like i do all my cars so it's gonna look cool this tilt handle here is missing just to tilt the seat on both sides that's missing there's the other one up there um the window clip over there is also not complete so I need to get the new one there um, this 30% so you got the 70 30 split seats or 60 40 whatever it is and the right hand side one's got a bolt at the bottom that clips into the actual clipping mechanism and that bolts missing so I need to get that but otherwise it's not bad there's all my parts that I got yesterday Let's have a look in the front. So the guys, I think these come with the hood prop and I think they did a gas lift. I don't know, I might be mistaken. No, I think, sorry, no. They do come standing with gas lift. But you can see it's been painted. It's overspray everywhere. At least it's got the battery box. No idea what this is. It needs to go. Alternator is new. Um, I've got a new water bottle that I had over from one of my other projects that I'm going to fit here. The belt was replaced, and then yesterday 
I went and got the aircon regas because it's stupidly hot at the moment. Um, and the aircon pump is seized. So now I need to find one of those. Um, also figured that the reverse lights don't work, so I need to check if it's the reverse light switch or what. But anyway, I'm gonna get onto things I need to change. I think that wiper needs to come on this side. The other one needs to go on the other side. I need to check that out. But the most important thing at the moment is to fit the dog bone mount. Where did I put it? Oh, it's here. I need to fit the dog bone mount today because I think the one on the cot is completely stuffed. Come out. There you go. So nice new dog bone mount. Let me quickly install that. To find some parts at least so i got a spare wheel for the polo um, i'm on my way to go and get a new tire put on there now got a much better rear lip for the bumper which just needs to clean it up obviously there was some um, once again some uh, mud flaps on there i'm obviously gonna have to probably trim here a little bit for the exhaust but i'll see what happens there um got got the bolt for the rear seat so the like i mentioned the passenger side rear split seat it's missing this so it's kind of loose so got that um just got two second hand indicators to replace those uh ugly led ones got the quarter panel that sits in the front by the door footwell proper mirror now i just need to find that little metal plate that bolts or that glue gets glued onto the windscreen and then i can put that on and then a non-broken boot cover much better than the one i've got which is awesome so once the car's back from uh, getting painted and so on then i will uh yeah, I'll install all of these things.